Hey guys, it's uh, tutorial. So, um, uh, brand new channel. Our old channel got deleted, unfortunately. We were doing pretty good, but uh, we're starting off a fresh start. Hopefully, it'll be better. All right. Well, today we're going to be doing a muzzle flash in Sony Vegas Pro 10. So, uh, go ahead and open that up. And while it's loading, go to uh, go to Google or your internet browser, whatever you use, and go to images and just type in muzzle flash. Um, a muzzle flash is just the fire that comes out of the front of the gun. Uh, just pick one that looks good for your video. Uh, it has to have black around it though. It can't be one with a person already in it. Now what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be um, effect, like using the part of the... See how the muzzle flash affects this guy's face, his shirt, and everything? That's what we're going to be doing today. And if you have the smoke effect, that's great. But if you don't, that's alright because there's a download that I'm going to give you that is... Uh, it's called Action Essentials 2. I don't know if you, any of you have heard of it. Usually it costs money, but this is how to get it for free. It's uh, dirt, explosions, blood, and, and anything. It's it's pretty cool. So, um... Oh, whoa. An ad. Just ignore these ads. Um, you should download now. They're pretty cool. Um, but you need it to render in BitTorrent. So, if you don't have BitTorrent already, go to the BitTorrent.com. Uh, free download. I'll put both those links in the description. Um, so yeah, once you're ready, you can go ahead and uh, open up your video and your uh, muzzle flash. So I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, so once you have everything in your uh, project media, you're going to find the spot for right before where you uh, shoot your gun. So uh, you can use the arrow keys to go frame by frame. I start to go back right here, so that's where I'm going to put my muzzle flash. So you're going to go down here and put insert video track, and that's where you're going to put your muzzle flash. Now notice that there's black. We want to get rid of that black, so some people hit screen, but uh, glow gives you more of the uh, glow effect, which makes it more realistic. So you can click that button right there, event pan slash crop, or you can do the same thing by right clicking. Doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, uh, you can just make it so that it's like on your gun. Size it down perfectly till it's good. Okay. <coughs> okay, and once you have it, you can uh, go ahead and um, make it so that's only one frame. So you can do that by hitting the zoom in button until these little tick marks up here become really small. They're really small right now, so make it so it's only two of those. One, two. Um, see how that looks pretty good now uh, notice that there's a little square thing right here you can fix that by going to 16.9 widescreen aspect ratio or we're gonna fix it later with the lightning of the parts that it affects so you should be good so don't worry about it all right so now go ahead and um, duplicate this the video track by right clicking and on this thing down here and the same thing to the audio track now make the top video track so it's only the same amount as the uh, muzzle flash and make it so it's add. Notice it's light it lights up the whole entire screen. So um, we don't want we only want the parts that affect so we're just gonna go ahead, right click, go to event pan slash crop again and use the masking tool by going to position. You can just mask out the parts that you think it affects the most. My face, definitely the background over here. Um, and my shirt, whoops, you can use control Z to go backwards, well, and my forearm. Okay, once you have it all done, you can go ahead and click on it, and go to feathering type, and go to both, and then feather it up until it looks just right. 
That looks pretty good. Now do the same thing to all your other ones. And uh, yeah, just do the same thing until they're all good. And this is some, yeah, it is. All right. So uh, now, you, once it's all good, you can just go ahead and exit it out and see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Uh, now, there's no sound effect yet, so uh, we're going to do that right now. So right click down here and hit insert audio track. If you have a sound effect, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, you can, you, and to get a sound effect, you can just go to YouTube and type it gun sound effect free download. They're really easy to find. Uh, or you can just go on iTunes and get some. They're actually really easy. So uh, yeah, find your sound effect and import it to right to right where you shoot your gun. Okay. Um, make it so that it's uh, just right for your video. Same length as your video. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Now, in order to make it super realistic, like that word super, um, we're going to go ahead and go down here, right click and hit insert another video track. This is where you can put your smoke, and this is where your uh, Action Essentials 2 package comes in. You don't have to do it, you can just leave it like this if you want, or you can do what I tell you to do. Um, uh, yeah, and just put it in there, put your thingy in there. Set it to screen, once, because it's all black. Screen. Okay, and then click the event pan slash crop button, or right click and do the same thing. Then move it to where I want it. Oh, that's not where I want it. Move it to where the tip of your gun is. Looks pretty good right there. Um, and then you can go ahead and just watch it and enjoy it. Looks really good. Uh, now, once it's all done, you can go ahead and go up to render as and render it as whatever you want it. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks. See you next time.